Perry Sterling with Legendary Marine out of Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and I'm here today to show you this beautiful 2018 Sea Hunt Game Fish 27. Okay, we're up here in the bow of the 27 Game Fish, and uh, first of all, it's got a great windlass system on it. It's located under this hatch right here. It's all stainless steel, shoots through the hull, which is nice and clean and uh, safe installation. You have switches right here to operate it. Uh, closes right up, out of your way and everything, so you can stand up here and fish if you want to. Uh, it's got powder coated handrails right here, so when you want to sit down and lounge right here, you've got backrest, nice cushions and everything, a lot of, lot of leg room. Hold on to this right here. You've got a drink holder back here for you. You've got a uh, nice size fish box right here. This is 172 quarts. Uh, drains overboard and it's insulated. Nice seat right here also. Nice high back on it, so it's very comfortable. So this is a nice lounging area. You also have uh, an optional fill-in cushion that you can get for this too that'll fill this whole area in and make it like a nice sunning area. Okay, we're gonna go over the hard top and the helm area and everything. See how it has some really nice features. Uh, first of all, they use a D-tubing on all of their T-tops, which is much stronger. If you notice, they flush them out everything into the console, so it gives you extra strength and you have a lot of room to pass in between the gunnel and the console. So it's, it's just extra area when you're fishing, a, 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 fighting a fish real hard, you can come around all the way around the boat. You do have uh, a full glass all the way up enclosure and you have an electric vent right here that you can open and close right there. So if it's inclement weather or a little chilly, you can get behind the console and out of the weather or you can open up the vent and get some ventilation right there if you need it. Uh, they did put a nice little pad up on top right here where you can throw your cell phone up there and it's not going to fly all over the place. Um, they do have a nice Simrad flush mounted uh, into the dash right here. Plenty of room to add another one if you want to. Uh, but this is a high def touchscreen, 12 inch, nice good size unit. Uh, it's a uh, GPS plotter, depth sounder, fish finder, the whole nine yards, and you can upgrade if you want from there. Uh, it's got a nice Bluetooth Infinity stereo system right here. Little cell phone holder, kind of universal. And then it has hardwire, uh, USB, and auxiliary inlet also. Nice array of switches to operate everything on the boat. Real easy to get to, easy to see. They're uh, lighted so you know when they're on, and they're labeled real well also. This has the Command Link uh, Plus upgraded gauge system, and this does everything for the engines. Um, it's the, and it's also a fuel gauge. Fuel gauge, trim gauge, it will also compute fuel consumption for you, uh, gallons per hour, miles per gallon, and of course a tachometer, speedometer, and oil pressure, and all, all the functions of the motors. Uh, you have trim tabs right here, they're recessed into the hull, and you have indicators right here that let you know where they're at. Also, when you turn the key switch off, they automatically retract. So that if you're pulling out with a lift or something like that or getting it on the trailer, it's not going to bend your trim tabs. Uh, this one has uh, one key right here and kill switch for both motors and push button start stop, which is an upgraded system and very nice so you're not fumbling with two different keys. It also has electronic throttle and shift or fly by wire if you have. Uh, so what the, what's nice about that is it's very dependable. Uh, you don't have any cables to go out on. You push pull cables. That's a maintenance item like 10 years down the road. You're just not going to have that anymore. Nice drink holders right here, stainless steel, a little stash spot right here. Uh, you've got tilt steering with a nice steering wheel with a knob steering, which helps you a lot in tight situations for maneuvering and docking. Nice little glove box right there. Another little stash spot here. Then you go to the, uh, the captain's chair. So it's got high back captain's chairs with the flip up bolsters where you can uh, stand up and drive and lean up against it. Plenty of, of uh, support very comfortable or you can set it down you got a foot rest right here so you can sit down right here and you have some nice arm rest so it's very comfortable nice high back uh, a lot of support so very comfortable for a long day of fishing or just riding around you also have put all this back up to, to stand up and drive if you want to and a foot rest down here also 
Uh, so that's the helm area right there. Uh, we're going to move back to the cockpit. Um, so back here you have rod holders right here. You've got rod holders up top here, so you've got a lot of coverage for rod holders. This one has the optional kingfish rod holders for trolling, so that's very nice also. You don't necessarily have to have outriggers. You do have a place to mount outriggers if you want to right here, so that's a nice uh, added feature also that uh, you don't have to do anything extra to mount uh, outriggers. So you come back here, you've got a 35 gallon live well right here. And a great place for it right here when you're fishing. You don't have to bend down a whole lot or anything. It's right there. It recirculates. It's got a light in it for night fishing and it's got a clear top right here and circular so that the fish will stay alive longer. Um, you also have a nice spot right here for pliers and a knife and you can hang all of your lures right here also. So everything's real handy and right here when you're fishing. You've got a, a optional uh, rear bench seat right here that you can either fold down if you want or you can pull it out all together and get it out of your way all together or it's a good place to sit down and just lounge but probably the best seat in the house as far as the ride over here you have a uh, side entry door which is very nice and you can take and just flip this part over and open it up right here it's got a magnet that holds it open right there and you've got great side entry. This is great for hauling in big fish, getting in and out of uh, shallow water or out of the water period, uh, or go getting on and off of a floating dock where you can just step on and off. There's also an optional dive ladder. It's a four-rung stainless steel telescopic dive ladder that just clips on right here, and that's included in this boat. Getting back to the fishing part of it, uh, you got another 30 gallon live well in the transom area and it's recirculating and lighted and everything for night fishing also with a clear uh, top on it. You've got a 260 quart fish box right here, insulated, drains overboard, so you can haul a lot of fish into that right there. You've got a raw water wash down right here for cleaning up the boat good and you've got a fresh water wash down right here with a little hand shower right here to rinse yourself off and get all the salt off of you. You've got good tackle storage on each side. You've got there again more knife storage, more plier storage, and you've got the little trays right here, tackle trays, and you've got a little shelf right here. So good storage here. You've got the same thing over here with more tackle trays and more drawers right here. And this is all stainless steel slides right here so it's going to last. You got more knife storage right here. Then you have storage right here also. So you can put more knives, more pliers, more tackle. Another little shelf. So plenty of tackle storage in this boat. Uh, you also have just a little spot right here that I like to look, throw like a dock line down there or something like that. So a good place right there to just store a few more things. Then you have a transom door right here. So you can go in and out the boat right here very easily. All right, we're back here at the transom on the 27 game fish, and uh, there again you have a very nice walkthrough right here. You actually have room, a lot of room back here to walk around on each side. You can actually fish from back here if you wanted to. Then you get to these beautiful, great Yamaha 200 four-stroke motors. Very fuel efficient, very dependable. Um, this hull right here at about 30 miles an hour, you get about two and a half miles to the gallon. Uh, and so you're going to get um, about a, a solid 300, 350 mile range. So it's good range on this boat. It's, it's very efficient. They have what's called a vortex hull. It's a variable dead rise. Starts out at like 60 degrees at the bow to knife through the, the, the water. Uh, 24 degrees about a midship and 21 at the transom. So that gives you a good smooth dry ride but still stable at rest when you're fishing. It's not going to throw you all over the place. Regular maintenance on them will last you thousands of hours and uh, they're just good dependable engines and perfect match for this boat. Runs about 52 miles an hour top end. That's your Game Fish 27 right here, uh, 2018 Sea Hunt Game Fish. Uh, again, I'm Perry Sterling with uh, Legendary Marine in Fort Walton Beach, and thanks for letting me show you the 27 Game Fish. <laughs>